Hi, my name's Simeon Neil Asher, and the trigger point of the week this week is going to be splenius capitis muscle. Uh, splenius capitis um, refers pain into the head and is the cause of often uh, headaches. And certainly if someone comes in with a cervicogenic headache or a headache that comes from the cervical spine, it's one of the really key muscles that we look at. So let's just search the software now. Uh, splenius capitis. So there really there are two muscles, there's splenius capitis and splenius cervicis, and we're going to be covering both of them separately. So let's just start with the uh, anatomy. So in terms of the capitis, um, the, the origin is the lower part of uh, ligamentum nuchae. Um, also the spinous processes of the sixth and seventh thoracic spine, all the way sometimes down a little bit further into the, of the cervical spine, down into the upper thoracic spine. And the insertion, as you can see, is this part of um, the mastoid process. It's got a deeper insertion as well, uh, sort of conjoined with some of uh, sternocleidomastoid. Um, so it, it certainly has this uh, attachment also to the sort of ligamental nuchae or this sort of nuchal line as well. Uh, as we can see, it, it has it's a kind of V-shaped muscle. So it starts in the sort of upper thoracic, lower cervical spine, and it sort of comes outwards, inserting uh, laterally to trapezius, medially to sternomastoid. Um, so that's the origin. Um, now, in terms of the pain map, uh, as we can see, the capitis refers pain to the head, the capita. So, so let's have a look at this map together. Um, we can see there's three uh, key areas that people complain of. Local cervical, cervicogenic pain, cervicopathy, uh, pain in the back of the head, and then vertex pain. Very, very much pain, strong pain in the vertex of the skull, going all the way forwards, sometimes into the eye. So in some ways, one of those classic headaches, back of uh, neck, head vertex sort of pain, and uh, pain into the, the eye itself, unilateral. Um, in terms of palpation, you have to sort of be able to sort of feel your way around the, uh, through the uh, trapezius, sternomastoid, and coming between the two of them there, and you'll, you'll feel often some trigger points in that zone there. So the kind of things that will cause it Certainly, we're looking at things like poor posture. Posture is often a, an activator of these uh, trigger points for, for the neck. Uh, head forward postures, upper cross patterns, people that sit at a computer for a long time. Um, you know, we have this modern world, of course, people looking down at their cell phones. So it's a classic sort of hip extensor. So if the hip, uh, hip sorry, cervical extensor, so if the, the, spine, the cervical spine is in flexion, you're gonna be sort of overloading that area. Uh, especially to do with um, uh, use overuse of uh, mobile phones. Um, sometimes we see it with people that have been in sitting in the air conditioning for a long time, uh, with strong air conditioning on their neck. Uh, also, you know, certain sports, sports where you're going to be uh, sort of swimming sometimes, uh, sports where you're going to be using the neck flexion. Uh, again, whiplash injury, uh, a very common cause of trigger points in the, the capitis muscle. So uh, it can be involved in a whole range of cervical uh, problems. And as we said at the beginning, cervicogenic headaches. So that's headache that's taking its origin from the cervical spine. Now, of course, in terms of cervicogenic pain, um, the, the idea here is that uh, headaches need a trigger and that the, if there are trigger points uh, active in the splenius capitis, it adds to the burden of nociceptive drive input to the spinal cord and and by eliminating or releasing some of the trigger points in that you'll lower that threshold uh, lower the sensitization the sort of peripheral central sensitization and they'll be less likely to have headaches lots of different techniques to treat them digital pressure is fantastic um, sustained sustained uh, deep pressure release uh, inhibition compression deep stroking massage and of course, uh, IMS or deep dry needling. So splenius capitis, look at it for headaches, look at it for cervicogenic headaches, osteoarthritis of the neck, cervicogenic pain, uh, spondylosis, spondylarthrosis, um, important muscle. Hope you enjoyed that. Look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks. Mm -hmm.